the number one tourist attraction in New Orleans is, the National World War II Museum. It's a landmark project for the city. So this particular phase seven, or one through seven, tells a story about the whole war. The pavilion that we're building now is phase seven, which is the after story, how the lives of the soldiers and the country resumed after the end of the war. The World War II Museum is in New Orleans because the Higgins boats, which were used to storm the Normandy beaches on D-Day, were actually manufactured in Lake Pontchartrain. My grandmother's maiden name was Higgins. I think uh, Andrew Higgins was like a second or third, second cousin to her. So there's some, I like to throw that out there every now and then. My grandfather uh, served. He was one of the gunners on the ship and I'm very proud of him for, uh, for the time that, that he served. This project, the Liberation Pavilion, is phase seven, and uh, they have some very unique architecture. Everything about it's iconic and well-planned and thought out. I'm a veteran myself, uh, so it's, it's something. We were um, incredibly grateful and somewhat surprised when we were awarded the project, and we've never done anything near this complex. This was um, a project where we had to go and bring on the best people. Yeah, I mean, I like building awesome jobs. I like the hardest thing you got. So we got. <laughs> is uh, like nothing I've ever seen or built. MAP, as a company, was founded roughly 30 years ago by our owner and president, Mike Polito. We at MAP have a um, founding principle to change the industry and the people in it for the better. So all of our systems, all of our softwares are configured for the best interest of the project, not ourselves. If there's a scratch on this wall behind us, we want anyone and everyone to be able to find that now so we can fix it now rather than late in the game in the punch list. Open Space allows us to provide 360 photo documentation to ourselves and our clients and our architects and our trade partners on a daily basis, almost instantaneously. Because MAP is so geographically disjointed, we will have a superintendent in North Carolina with the project manager in Dallas with a project executive in Baton Rouge who are all working on the same project on the same call. And your, your architect's probably in Chicago in this case. So we're saving all kinds of time and money flying people around to look at job sites. Being able to open up the door to that type of transparency really allows us to get off on a, with a project on the right foot and they don't get the feeling that we're trying to hide things from them or keep them off the site. When we're uh, interacting with clients for the first time and we're able to tell them, hey, on a daily basis, you're gonna get a full 360 you know, image of your entire project where you can do virtual walks at your convenience. So one of my, my favorite features about open space is being able to go back in time and see how things were constructed. If a client wants to see what was in their wall so that they can decide on adding anything new to the project afterwards, I can go back and show them that this pipe was here, um, this electrical core is right here. I can't tell you the number of times that it's been able to provide us a basis of truth during some type of disagreement that would allow us to know for sure the crane was here on this day. And once you have like a basis of truth to begin any discussion with, um, it becomes a lot more collaborative, a lot more productive, and a lot less combative. Well, we know that open space has created a revolutionary 360 image imaging tool, but what I think has allowed it to really catch on at MAP is how easy it was to pick up and train people. Once you do it one time, I mean, that's basically it. Connect to a camera, tell it what floor you're on, where you're starting, and press record. This is a, a very unique uh, building. It's got a lot of geometry to it and a lot of structure to it, a lot of mass, a lot of things that can go wrong when building a project. I don't think there's a square corner in this building. The um, exterior being, you know, the, looks like a bow of the ship. You'll notice that there are no parallel lines. There are no straight walls. Everything is off some angle, curved, round. If you look at the steel model or uh, the drone photos we have, the open space scans from when we just had structural steel up, it would look like a bird's nest. It was a very tough project to wrap your head around on a 2D uh, set of plans. 
You know, one of the things that I think um, can be challenging with BIM is access to the model. You know, historically that's taken a lot of data, you've needed a powerful computer, you need a video card. Open Space has this uh, BIM integration where you're looking at the 360 pictures that you're familiar with and you click the BIM button on the right hand side, which half and half your screen with your 360 images and your BIM model on the other side. And you can even lock them together so that you turn together. And this allowed uh, instant access to the, in, in the field to the BIM model through what we call the hub, which is effectively a 4K TV in a uh, weatherproof job box with the printer hooked up to our project management system. And when we are trying to communicate to somebody uh, geometry as complex as this building, honestly, the model is gonna do that better than I would ever be able to explain it or a superintendent would be able to explain it. One of my favorite things to do almost every day was to uh, pull up the, the open space uh, BIM integration that we did and look at how these things were gonna be built. Hands down the coolest tool that I've ever used I think everyone took it to, to heart what this project really meant, both for MAP and for the city of New Orleans, and the way we communicated through open space on a weekly basis, it was tremendous. And um, you know, we talk about communication, 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 and the use of open space where anybody at any point can go take a walk through the project. The the best part about this project, I think, is that in the end, everybody is pulling together to achieve a goal of getting this building built and, um, and the location of it, where it is, and the people that we were with um, really made, made it a special project and, and again, a, a privilege to be a part of. This building is like a place that I'm gonna bring my kids. Yeah, if you were in the car with me at any point over the last two years and we drove nearby, Clayton was saying, oh, look, there it is, there it is, we got steel coming up. You know, oh, hey, look, we got, we got a walls coming up. Um, it, it's really been like a true sense of pride for me to build something so meaningful to our community and I think to our country. It's been a true sense of pride uh, for me to have been involved in this project, it's something that'll be on the skyline for the rest of my life, I'm certain. To live through what they did is, is pretty amazing. That's why this place is special. It's not just a museum. It's our history, our culture, our forefathers, their sacrifice. With every difficulty, Law's opportunity. Got that from a fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> well,